threads measure three quarters of an inch, so I'm gonna drill a five eighths of an inch hole with the idea that I'll be able to tap the threads into the bucket. Turns out that the hole's a little small. I don't have an 11 16th drill bit, which is surprising, but that would have been the right size hole to drill. I thought that I could make it work, and I'm not giving up. What I'm gonna do next is warm the bucket up around the hole with my heat gun, and that should help convince this to work. Well, it fits, but I don't think it's going to work great. So I'm gonna add a little Teflon tape to the threads. And the idea is just to have something that works for today and then replace it with something better down the road. What I want to avoid though, is trying to dump 25 pounds of honey into a six ounce jar. So this will make it a little bit easier. I just put some water in the bucket and it looks like it's going to work pretty good. I'm using a paint strainer and putting this in a five gallon bucket and then I'll pour the wax and the honey that's all mixed together inside. Well, in case you didn't know, my bees didn't make it through the winter this year. And apparently that's not that uncommon, especially with the kind of winter we had this year. It was a really tough winter. And that's why I'm harvesting so early. What I ended up doing is taking about 10 bars out of the hive and leaving 10 bars in the hive. And those bars have a nice straight comb and they've got a lot of honey in them. And that should give the new bees a good head start for the spring. I plan on picking up new bees in April and I'm building a new hive next week. So I hope you'll tune in and check that out. As far as why the bees didn't make it, uh, in the comments it seems that most people think it has to do with moisture in the hive. And so when I get ready for the winter next year, I have to think of a, another way to vent the hive. Maybe have some kind of uh, small venting around the top of the hive and also maybe wind breaks around the hive. Some people use hay bales. Uh, in my mind, I'm thinking maybe just to apply with windbreak. So we'll see. It's, it's all a learning experience. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.